You okay? You all good? Hello! Another uh, vintage style tutorial. I know that I literally just put out my updated foam rollers video last week and now you're getting another. As I stated in my foam rollers video, my hair is getting very long. That means that the frequency of me wanting to curl it has uh, decreased. If you would kindly take a look at this graph. What I decided before I took my trip to LA last week, I decided that I wanted to try to vintage style a half wig. I wanted the front of my hair to stick out so that it was much more realistic. So that's what this video is. I wanted to show you my process in doing that. Before we start out, two things. Number one, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty and I'm gonna talk about them very shortly. And number two, I am not a professional. I'm not a professional vintage hairstylist or anything. So that being said, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Trust me. I know things like this can seem very, very intimidating, but I wanna show you just how easy it actually was. So first things first, let's talk about the sponsor. So yes, like I said, my hair is getting very long. <sighs> Function of Beauty did reach out to me and wanted to see if we would like to work together. And I had heard about them before, so I was definitely very excited to try it. So basically, Function of Beauty is personalized hair care. You take a two minute survey on everything you're looking for in a shampoo and conditioner and then they cater that to your needs. Get your name on the bottle, which is really way more exciting than you would think. So here is my set, the shampoo and then the conditioner. Obviously the conditioner is a little lower because I always use a buttload of it. Function of Rachel. I've made it big. What do you mean everyone that orders it can have their name on their bottle? So I have been using these for about a month now. I wanted to make sure that I tried it out thoroughly before I suggested it to you guys. My hair profile was wavy, medium, and dry. My goals were to strengthen, volumize, color protection, curl definition, and oil control. And then the fragrance is Feeling Fun Apple. And then cute little stickers. Oh. And as you can see, my hair is so much shinier than it was which I didn't actually think would happen. I didn't think that shampoo and conditioner actually played that big of a part in your hair care, but yep, it does. So yeah, that is Function of Beauty. Um, they sponsor this video. Thank you for sponsoring this video. There is a link in the description if you want 20% off your first purchase. Now that I've talked about the sponsor, I want to move into the actual tutorial. Starting off at the beginning, I knew that I wanted the half leg to obviously be the same color as my hair. If you are a redhead, whether that red hair is natural or not, you probably know that finding hair extensions, wigs, is very difficult. <laughs> because it's either too copper, too red. So I did the best that I could. I got this copper wig off of Amazon. I had a feeling it might be a little too copper, but I do know that once I freshly dye my hair, it is a lot more vibrant than it is now. So essentially what I did when I got the wig was give it a good old snipperoo. <laughs> So before I did anything to this wig, I knew that I wanted it to be almost a half wig, maybe like a three quarter wig. So I cut the hairline back a bit so that it would rest more around here as opposed to here. I gave it a horseshoe cut or also known as a midi, which is a more vintage haircut. I usually get it. I have not gotten a haircut in a very long time, but basically what it is is just a u-shape so it's shorter in the fronts and then goes around to a big u in the back and this helps a lot with vintage sets so i'm not going to show the actual cutting process because i know a lot of you will judge me quite honestly it doesn't matter too much what the ends look like and how pretty of a job you do because you're gonna curl this wig anyways so the ends are most likely not going to be visible anyways so the next step after that is actually putting the rollers in now for this i use these wire mesh rollers and basically what i did is wet the ends of the hair so that it doesn't you know spring up as much it still does and it can be kind of frustrating but as long as you kind of get the hang of tucking the ends in as you're rolling up 
is definitely more manageable. I take the roller and the wet ends of the hair, roll it up to the scalp, and then I take floral pins, which are kind of like sewing pins, but a little bit bigger because they're more for, you know, like boutonnieres and corsages. Then you can kind of just stick it right through the roller into the mannequin head and it is secure, which is very convenient. And I wish I could do that on my own head. Now I basically do the same set I do with myself with foam rollers, but since I have more control, it is a bit more tidy. And that is kind of important for this because you want the waves to be a bit uniform. So if you can try, make the rows kind of neat. So you'll have one on top, couple in the middle and then one very tiny one to get those little short hairs at the very bottom. Now what I noticed doing this, and it might be kind of obvious that I don't notice when I'm doing my own foam rollers, basically the more rows you have, the more waves you're going to have. When I have those rows of rollers all set and pinned in place, I take a regular clothes steamer. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think I got this for like 12 bucks. And you're just going to steam these babies. I honestly can't say how long you need to do this for, but what I've found, and just to be safe, I go over it once until the water runs out, I fill up the water and do it again. Making sure to get every tiny sliver of hair that I can, and I like to stick it underneath and in between the rollers so that it kind of heats up from the inside out. I generally tend to leave this overnight for it to dry and cool. So basically that's what forms these curls is heating up the plastic and then letting it set and letting it cool. So in terms of the brush out, this part is pretty easy and it only gets a little bit complicated if you really, really want those sculpted curls. So you'll take the hair out of the rollers and just quite simply brush through the curls. The more brushing, the better essentially, because it's not like natural hair, that will lose the curl if you keep brushing. You can really go ham with brushing these things and that's why I love it so much. The more you brush it, the more you'll see that the waves will start to want to form together and you kind of just have to keep experimenting and keep listening to the wig, if you will. And you can also take a comb, use your hand to kind of smooth and guide and form the waves. So without further ado, I will show you the finished result. So basically what I will do is decide what I want my bangs and outer section to be doing. The first time I wore it, I kind of just tucked my hair in like this, which is fine, but it definitely gave more of a 60s vibe, and that's not really what I was going for. The next time I wore it, I did little victory rolls, and I found that was a lot more authentic and kind of the look that I wanted. So I'm gonna recreate that. Okay. Not my best victory roll job, but it's fine. I personally struggled, especially with this hairstyle, to put a wig cap on and make it day on my head. So for this one, I kind of just trying to make it as flat as possible and just kind of pinned it in place. I'm going to take the clips that were inside. So there's a couple clips here and one here and then stick those combs into my head. I'm gonna take some bobby pins, pin the wig to my scalp. And then because she was in a suitcase, I'm just gonna brush her out a bit more. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it. Yes, this does look kind of silly and obvious. I still got a lot of compliments when I was in California of people saying that they loved my hair. And um, I am still not very educated in the etiquette of said exchange. So basically whenever someone said that, I just kind of blurted out, thanks, it's a wig. You let me know, is that the proper way to do it? Or do I just say thank you and then let them slowly figure out maybe that wasn't her real hair. Normally when I freshly dye my hair, it will match this a lot better. But like I said, with redheads, it's a little bit more difficult to find a matching color. And I ran out of time and wasn't able to dye my hair. So this is what you get, okay? It's close enough. <laughs> Being a lazy person, I highly recommend doing this, especially if your hair is at the point where it doesn't really wanna hold curls or if you know you're going somewhere where there's a lot of humidity, a lot of wind. You can have just a perfectly sculpted head of old Hollywood goodness and not actually worry about your real hair. Also, you don't need to get a super fancy wig for this. This was a $30 wig I got off of Amazon. 
wig tour. <laughs> If you're watching this and you still think this is a bit overwhelming, I completely understand, but trust me, it does not take a lot of skill to do this. It just takes some patience. And also, if you don't want to do a half wing like I did, you could just use this method on a full waist front. Thank you again to Functional Beauty for sponsoring this video, and I hope that you guys found it helpful. And if you guys do try it out, definitely tag me on social media. I love you guys whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking... Oh, hell no. We're just gonna go for it. My neighbor's trimming his hedges. Um, there's nothing I can do about it, so... <laughs> I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, I upload every week, sometimes once, sometimes twice, and we have fun here. Oh, yeah. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <coughs> the pollen, it's killing me. There's a lot of loud trucks in my neighborhood today. Go, oh, Rachel needs to film today. Our <laughs> muscle. So you'll take the. <laughs> There's so many pros to this, and I am. I love you, whether. Nope. It's alive! It's alive!